Hey, Hayden. Last night was crazy, huh? Yes, it was, Daddy. Kareem, what are you doing? Are you okay? How do you feel about Hayden after all this? I love him even more. I'm single. And I'm about to move here. What's wrong with you? Why? Your energy is real heavy right now. You love me. You're good. I love y'all too. But, but, what, what's wrong? Is everything okay? No. I just ran into my crazy ass ex boyfriend and. Hey, what's going on, world? What's up, it's your boy here, Wesley. Hey, and I believe this is my first video of the new year, 2022. Hey, listen, uh, gave me to have a question. What? The last video I did was December 20th, and you guys gave me 71 likes on that video. That was pretty, pretty dope. Uh, that video wasn't called gay, entitled Gay Men I Have a Question, What's Your Gay Solution? Video number 10. This is Gay Men I Have a Question, the N word versus the F word. Video number 11. I'm going to make this video not too controversial. I want you guys to really sound off in the comments. I know that this particular topic can be quite sensitive for a lot of people, so I'm not trying to ruffle any feathers, I'm just trying to open up dialogue. If this is your first time seeing me, hey, hi, how are you, what's up? I need you to follow me on all my social media platforms, AK Nation TV on Instagram and Twitter, and I've been doing this for quite some time. But your boy is back with the game and I have a question series. But you know what I do before I get into what I'm talking about or what I'm going to talk about I go into The comments of the last video. Let's do a recap We have Brent Turner to like or love my partner for who he is and not try to change him develop good communication skills Trust him to do the right thing. Love love this platform with. Thank you so much Brent Turner. Hey, listen How's it going so far for me? My gay solution was to maintain positive energy within my heart and to ensure that I'm loving myself before I decide to love anybody else. Right? You got to love self first. So far, so good. I think I'm doing okay. <laughs> I think I'm doing okay. 11 days into January 2022. I think I'm doing okay. Uh, J1 High Five says, bless you, my friend. Keep up the great content. My gay solution is to take better care of myself, my overall well-being, and learn to listen and trust my instincts. I know that's right. Come on with it. Adzil Stewart says, blessed New Year to you, Wes. Thank you. My solution is first to your own self be true. Yes, only when you can be true to yourself and critically analyze, uh, analysis and give a critical analysis of self to then start the process of fixing you. Then and only then will you be able to attract the partner. Yeah, we, we vibing, we all, okay, we all on one accord, yes. Self-discovery, I love it. Uh, Jay Roberts wants to say, first I wanna say bless you Wes. Oh, y'all are so cool with this video, thank you. Spiritually and physically, my gay solution for 2022 is to lose weight and I want to drop all the dead weight, yes. I've accumulated over my life. I want to drop all the waiting on love to find me. Hey, I will actively live and love myself. Come on! As I should have been doing already, but have been putting it off for a dead weight. Love you and wish you the best in the next year. Stay blessed, don't stress, and don't fall for any mess. Hey! Yes! Self-discovery, let go! Um, JB says in 2022, I would hope to finally come out and be myself and stop hiding behind who I am because of the church, family, and friends. So tired of living the DL life. I know that is right. Come on. Come on. You only have one life to live. That maybe I, maybe that should be my next video. You only have one life to live. Okay. So live it. Period. What? Okay, now let's get into this. Shout out to everybody else that left comments. I love you. Calvin Hunt, Charles Yast, Kurt349, and World Hot Man. Thank you so much for watching and leaving comments. 
Uh, but let's get into this. Um, so, by no means and I'm, am, am I going to try to um, tell you what these words should mean to you. Um, words don't necessarily technically have power. People give them that. Okay? And so... Whatever power level you give the F word or the N word, I'm leaving that all up to you. All right. I basically want to tell you about the power that it holds for me. All right. And to allow this video to open or to have open dialogue within the comments as long as we're not disrespectful. Yes. I believe that these words oftentimes or sometimes fight each other because people are so hard up on saying that they're so vastly different and the history behind them are extremely different. Well, duh, they're two different words. We understand that the history is different, okay? And by no means and I'm am I trying to say that the F word is the N word and vice versa. They're two very different words coming from very different time periods, um, deriving from very different meanings, right? Both insult a group, okay? So that's where the similarity is. Both insult a group of people, okay? So let's not act like that's not the case, okay? Let's not do that. Because <laughs> it's very interesting because even... It, it's so interesting when marginalized, ostracized, discriminated groups fight each other. It's so crazy. You know, it's a lot of, no, my plight is stronger than yours. No, my plight is stronger than yours. We're both discriminated against, insulted, and all of that. So it doesn't have to be mine's is, no, it, it, that's not what this video is going to be. I'm just going to say to you, gay man, I have a question. Do you allow, how can I phrase this? I'll just say in the N word versus the F word. How much power do you give these two words? Okay. How much, that's the, how much power do you give these words? That's the question. Gay men, I have a question, right? Um, because a lot of us gay men fall into both categories of being black and gay. All right. So we're like double attacked. Okay. But anyways, the F word, I'm going to read it straight from here, all right? The F word, often shortened to uh, three letters, is usually pejorative, is usually a pejorative term used primarily to refer to gay men and boys. In, in American youth culture around the turn of the 21st century, its meaning extended as a broader reaching insult more related to masculinity and group and group power structure. The use of the three letter word has spread from the United States to varying extents elsewhere in the English speaking world, okay? Through mass culture, including film, music, and the internet, okay? Um, there was something else that I, okay. The word F has been used in English since the late 16th century as an abusive term for women, particularly old women in reference to homosexuality made in, in reference to homosexuality may derive from this as female terms are often used with reference to homosexual or effeminate men. Period. Okay. All right. So let's go with the N word. Okay. Um, in the English language, the word N is an ethnic slur typically used against black people, especially African Americans, because it is considered extremely offensive by many. Even if only mentioned and not used as a slur, it is often referred to by the euphemism, the N word. It is also in use with more neutral meaning among African Americans, primarily y'all know the word. The word originated in the 18th century as an adaptation of the Spanish word negro, a descendant of the Latin adjective blank, which means black. Over time, it took on a derogatory connotation and by the mid 20th century, particularly in the United States, its usage by anyone other than a black person had to come had had come to be generally seen as 
uh, a racist insult. Accordingly, it began to disappear from general popular culture. Its inclusion in classic works of literature has sparked controversy and ongoing debate. So a lot of people decide not to give the word power. For the most part, I don't give any of these words power. It only depends on who says it around me and the tone in which it's used. That will determine how much power I give it, okay? I don't allow anyone that's gay to call me the F word. I don't like it and it's not cute, okay? It's history is, is, is deep-rooted, enough for me, is deep-rooted enough in insult, okay? Because it, it started from the, the insult uh, uh, arena, okay? So for me, I don't see anything cute about being called that. It's not, not for me. Some people may get away with it and like it and feel whatever it feels for them, makes it feel cute inside for them, but for me, don't call me that. I don't care if you're gay, I don't care if you're straight. I don't care if you're a friend. I don't care if you're a family member. My mom had that word come out her mouth and I shut her down so fast it was ridiculous, okay? That word should not come out of anyone's mouth, okay? There's nothing cute about it, okay? That's for me. For you, y'all may like, hey, call me that. Don't, don't do it. Not for me, okay? Now, for the N-word, I don't particularly like it. I think my mind has gotten so confused with the acceptance that it has in the black community versus the fact that we shouldn't accept it at all, that sometimes, it'll, if it slips around me amongst uh, my black folk, I necessarily don't care as much as I would if the F-word did, because the F-word has never been cute and has never been made cute. The N-word has been made cute by black people. So it's like, okay, are we caring? Are we not caring? Like, when are we caring, right? And you know, people, black people have this argument, well, now we changed the word and made it better for us. I don't, that, I, I just don't subscribe to that because there's no changing of the F-word to make it better for me. There's no changing of it. So for me, I wish black people never changed the word, honestly, to make it, better for usage because it's just dumb using it is just dumb but we've just grown accustomed to it i mean you know uh what's the girl name uh Do doja cat because she's mixed has a whole song talking about the n-word and she was at a concert and everybody in the concert was chanting her song and people were mad like oh you shouldn't have had them saying the word the word shouldn't have never been in the song that's how i feel about it that's how I feel about it. And I know some people might be upset. Like, no wrath, no wrath. But I'm sorry, that's just how I feel about it. I feel like if we don't want the word to be used, we shouldn't use it at all. And I hate the fact that we've made it so okay amongst ourselves and as a term of endearment, how, amongst ourselves to utilize the word, okay? Now, veering off from the obvious for me, with regards to other people using these words, like I said with the F word, no one should use it. It's never been made cute. I don't hear people saying it in songs to make it cute. I don't want it used by anyone around me, okay? The N word, it's been socially accepted amongst blacks for blacks to say it. Okay, whatever. But for me, Anybody outside of black should not say it. It just, I don't want anybody saying it around me anyway, to be honest. But anybody not black should not say the word. Why? Because that's what black people have come up with. <laughs> and that's what we just agreed on, I guess. Okay? And then also, it's hard to tell where you're coming from. If you're not black, and you don't know the black struggle, it's hard to know where you're coming from when that word comes out of your mouth because of the history of the word. So it's like, don't say it. Don't say, just don't say it. <laughs> just don't say it. Don't, it's not cute. 
Because I don't know what you're trying to say when you say it. And then the fact that you're trying to be cool when saying it is not cool. Because it ain't cool when black people do it. So to allow another person other than black to do it, I'm just not really here for it. I'm not. <laughs> it just it is what it is. It's the nature of the crazy beast, I guess. Okay? So I'm curious to see what you guys think and how you feel about it. Um, yeah, do y'all use the N-word and the F-word? I don't. Like, I'll probably say the N-word maybe three times in a year. Really. Because when I look at black, black people, the black people that are around me or I have the black people, it makes no sense for me to say that. It makes no sense for me to say that. I don't, I don't get why I would use that word against another black person. Even as a term of endearment, whatever, whatever mayonnaise we want to put on the bread. I just don't see the reason for saying it. The only three times that I'll probably say it in a year is because I'm in a group of black people and they use it haphazardly and it just slips out. That's the, really, that's the only reason why the N word would even come out of my mouth. You know, but you know, a lot of black people are just like in this, 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 and if the F word or the N word holds weight to you, it's up to you to figure out how much weight it holds. Don't use the F word in my presence. And if you're not black, don't use the N word in my presence. And if you are black, I'm gonna look at you like, what was the point of using that word? There's so many other words that you can use in the English language but you're opting to use that as a term of endearment or as a way to express yourself about whatever the hell it is that you're talking about. Why? <laughs> Why? Like, I, I don't even want to go there, but like, how many books have you read? What's the education level that you've completed? Why are you using that word? <laughs> That's where I'm at with it. You know, but hey, unpopular opinion, I really don't care. It's how I feel. Gay men, I have a question. The F word versus the N word. Do these words hold power in your world? Sound off in the comments, let me know. And if you get this video to over 50 likes, we'll talk about the, uh, the power of coming out and what it could do. So let's get this video to over 50 likes, like this video, and sound off in the comments. Let's be peaceful and respectful. I think I did really good in this video. Wow. Deuces!